Are you starting to have wrist pain from long typing sessions? Do your hands get fatigued or achy after a long day's work? Do you like the aesthetic, versatility, and tactile feedback of a hot swappable mechanical keyboard? Well, Expos has made a keyboard just for you. In this video, I'll be going over the Expos Nature Keyboard, including what I like and what I don't like about it. While the keyboard isn't without its issues, I think it's a great choice for people who are currently having wrist pain and want to try something new to get some relief. Ready to get started? Let's get fortified. If you don't know me, my name is Dr. Salvador Vieira, the ergonomic artificer. I'm a trained physiotherapist whose goal is to help you find the right products that fit your unique situation. Rather than focus on subjective things like comfort, I'm going to be giving you real objective data so you can make a better decision before you spend your hard-earned cash. Because if you're in pain and want to get out of it, the last thing you want to do is throw good money after bad. Now, when it comes to keyboards, you have to remember that most wrist problems and pain come from what they call an RSI, or a repetitive stress injury. In other words, these are injuries that happen because you keep doing the same thing the same way over and over and over and over and over again. One of the ways that we deal with these RSIs is to change up how we're performing the task. In this case, typing. We can do that with an ergonomically designed keyboard. Now, there are pretty much two reasons why you want an ergonomic keyboard in the first place. One, you currently have a wrist or hand condition that is causing you pain. Or two, you want to prevent developing these conditions in the future. I think this keyboard can help with both. If you're in pain, switching to an ergonomic keyboard allows you to continue to work and to put food on your table while still managing your pain and allowing your body to heal. Expos is a company founded by a medical doctor who understands all of this. And while they aren't the first company by far to develop a wrist neutral keyboard, they're the first that I've seen that combines the customizability and aesthetics of a mechanical keyboard with the design of an ergo keyboard. They've completely changed the layout of the keys, orienting them inwards in order to keep your wrist in a neutral wrist position, which has been shown to reduce the pressure placed on your carpal tunnel. Now, they've done this while also allowing for hot swappable switches and keycaps to further customize your tactile, oral, with an A, and aesthetic sensibilities to create a keyboard that is right for you. And if you know me, you know how much I love customizability. They've moved the backspace and the enter key to the center of the keyboard to hit with your index finger. They've also broken up the space bar and put the control and shift buttons right there. This allows us to use our dexterous thumbs to hold down the shift and control keys rather than using our less mobile pinky. They've also reduced the size of the things like the caps lock and tab keys while significantly increasing the size of the alt keys for all you gamers out there. They've done all of these things in order to reduce the overall travel of your hands and fingers during typing. Now, why is this necessary? One thing that people don't realize is that typing is actually pretty asymmetrical. For example, if you're like me and you mess up a lot, then you use the backspace pretty often. This requires reaching up like this, which you don't do as much on the left hand, unless you keep pressing escape because, I don't know, close a bunch of tabs. If you use the 10 key number pad, this is even more asymmetrical. Now, there aren't any studies on how this affects things like wizard wrist, but they have found that the dominant hand, usually the right, is usually the first to be affected by these conditions. A hypothesis that I have is that the right hand is just working out more. It's out there pressing the backspace key and using the number pad and the mouse, while the left hand just sits there like a lazy healer who only stock cure wounds and healing word. I know who you are. The Expos keyboard tried to solve this problem by creating a layout that allows for natural, symmetric travel pattern, which theoretically could sort of lighten the load that the right hand has to perform. Now, I'm not sure how much of a difference is going to make in prevention, but I can see how it would reduce symptoms of someone who has been stressing their wrists and their hands in the same way for years and years and years. This allows you to modify your typing task rather than quit cold turkey. Remember that. We want to allow you to keep doing your job that you hopefully enjoy or playing those computer games that bring you happiness. We don't just want you to stop typing forever. So definitely try changing things up with something like a new keyboard or mouse before you quit entirely. Aesthetically, the keyboard has some pretty snazzy LED lighting which can feel right at home in most gaming setups. It also has this unique kind of weird look to it. You know, that's kind of intriguing. All of this falls into the subjective realm though. So your personal taste is gonna influence how much this matters to you. So check it out. If you like how this looks, then great. 
Finally, what sets this keyboard apart tremendously from other competitors is that it has hot swappable mechanical keys. This allows you to change up the sound, aesthetics, and actuation force of your keyboard. Actuation force is the amount of pressure that is needed to press a key. As you can see here, I've swapped out the escape button of the Expos keyboard with an orange one from my Key Chrome K4. There are some weird shaped keys like the Alt and Space buttons that are going to be pretty much impossible to replicate without making a custom keycap. So I hope you're okay with black for those. This feature isn't just for aesthetics either. Research by the Arcane Scholars has found that people who used more force when typing had more reported upper extremity problems. While you can still pound away with no actuation force keys, many have reported that lighter switches such as the Cherry MX Red, which requires 45 gram force to activate, are less fatiguing than things like the Cherry MX Clear, which requires 65 gram force to activate. These are all great things and can be really beneficial to someone who is currently having issues with their wrist. However, there are some big things that I want to mention about this keyboard that may be big deal breakers for you. First, you're going to need to relearn how to type. My normal typing speed ranges from 85 to 95 words per minute, according to typingtest.com. When I first started using the Expos keyboard, I honestly felt like I had spent the entire night drinking at a tavern and getting into a bar fight. For the first few days of using the keyboard, I only managed a paltry 30 to 35 words per minute. Part of this comes from the realization that I picked up a few bad habits in typing. Since I have longer fingers, I like to use the index finger of my left hand to press the Y button. On the X bows, this is a lot harder because of the big triangular space in between the T and Y keys on the keyboard. Also, the movement of the enter and backspace keys for me was extremely difficult because like I said, I make a lot of mistakes when typing. So, f me I guess. Even after 3 weeks of using the keyboard consistently, I'm still only about 70 words per minute on average. I will say though that I had discovered the benefit of having the shift key breaking up the spacebar. Rather than having to hold down the shift key with my weaker pinky, I can use my thumb. This reduces movement and it definitely is less fatiguing. My impression is that if I continue to work at it and practice, I'll continue to improve my words per minute to pretty close to where I was before. Even if you're a professional typist, the layout is going to need some work to learn. My mother-in-law is a court reporter and she initially had a lot of trouble with just the layout change. The keyboard is just so different from what has been ingrained into her muscle memory. So with that said, I think it may be easier to learn to use this keyboard if you're actually a bad or unorthodox typer who doesn't have every single keystroke mapped into your nervous system. She also noted that she has small hands and when she typed on this keyboard, she said that it felt like she had to stretch her fingers further outwards to make keystrokes. This is because the keys are spaced further apart due to the inward layout. As you can see here, there's more space between these keys, which can fatigue smaller hands if they have to consistently reach wide with their fingers. So if you have small hands, this is something that you'll definitely want to consider. Finally, the keyboard lacks the center curvature or tenting that I've come to expect from ergonomic keyboards. Other ergonomic keyboards either have a curve built into the chassis or in the case of split keyboards, allow you to tent the middle side of the keyboard like this. This feature reduces the amount of pronation that happens in your wrist when you type. Pronation just means rotating your hand palm side down. Studies have shown that pronating past 45 degrees can reduce the space in the carpal tunnel, which leads to increased painful symptoms. Just for reference, when you're typing on a standard keyboard, you are about 80 to 90 degrees of pronation. Ergonomic keyboards have this curve to reduce the pronation to about 45 degrees or less. This keyboard, however, doesn't have that feature. I think this was a sacrifice that they made to keep the keys swappable, which makes sense, but this is definitely the biggest downside to this keyboard in my opinion. If pronating your wrist brings on your painful symptoms, this keyboard is not going to help with that. So in conclusion, the Expos keyboard gets my artificer stamp of approval, especially for people who may already be feeling some wrist pain and want to switch up their standard keyboard layout to try and reduce their symptoms. If you aren't currently experiencing symptoms, however, should you change up your keyboard to this one? Well, that's up to you. The jury is still out if making changes to your keyboard can fully prevent injuries, but it makes sense that if you do what you can to reduce stress on the anatomy, that you will at the very least delay the beginning of the symptoms. Just remember that this keyboard does have the keys spread out a bit more than a standard keyboard and can be a little fatiguing for smaller hands. 
It doesn't have that mid keyboard curvature or tenting to prevent pronation. And even if you were a perfect touch typist, you're gonna need to spend some time getting used to this new keyboard layout before you can type at your standard words per minute. Am I switching to this keyboard? Currently, I'm still torn between this keyboard and a split keyboard for my daily typer, as they both have their pros and their cons. But I'll be sure to update everyone when I make a decision. No matter what keyboard you choose, just remember that taking frequent movement breaks and shifting your posture is gonna be the number one way to prevent and relieve wrist pain. If you wanna pick up this keyboard and get a discount, use promo code FortifySTR on the link below to get 10% off your purchase. This really helps out our channel and we truly appreciate whatever help we can get. It helps us to bring more of this content to you. If you thought this was helpful, make sure you subscribe down below if you want more ergonomic tips and product reviews beamed directly to your viewing device. See you in the next one, folks. And until then, don't forget to fortify strength.